Hey, welcome to Paddle and Hike. So we're back in the Adirondack. I'm trying to finish my 46ers here. So today we're gonna hike a loop, a big loop. It's called Hebasa. So for haystack, basin, and saddleback, I'm gonna split it in two days. So I'm gonna sleep at Snowbird Camp today. Apparently it's pretty wet. So I hope that I'm gonna be able to pitch my tent. Today I'm gonna hike Little Haystack and Haystack. And tomorrow I'm gonna hike Basin and Saddleback all the way back to the parking lot. Apparently there's cliffs on Saddleback that are pretty steep. So with the heavy pack, it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but that should be fun. So I'm going towards the John Brooks campsite. Uh, it's not that bad, honestly. The Phelps Trail all the way up to that campsite is pretty smooth. There's some climb, but it's nothing really hard. So it's pretty nice. So far I really like this trail. I don't want to jinx anything but it's not too warm today so I'm not super thirsty. I'm not dying of heat so it's pretty nice and also there's not that much bugs compared to last week. You know it might change but it's not super bad so that's cool. So after the John Brooks Lodge, you keep going, following the river, there'll be some campsite and you just keep going up. So I decided to take a side trail just to go see the Bushnell Falls. They're less than 0.1 mile. So I want to see it and then I'll go back on the trail. So let's go check the falls. So if you want to go check the falls, I'm telling you it's pretty steep. It's short, but it's really steep and slippery, but worth it. 
The falls are amazing. I don't know if you can hear them, but there's a lot of jets, army planes flying over. When they pass by, they, they are really loud. When you're close to a haystack, it starts to be really steep and you have to climb rocks like this. So I'll show you. There's no ladder, there's nothing. We can see Marcy right there, highest peak in New York. So we're heading toward these mountains over there. You can see little a stack and haystack right there. So that's where we're going. At the top of haystack amazing view wow I love this mountain one of my favorites so far difficult but wow This is so beautiful. I arrive at camp. I won't talk too loud, there's people around. So uh, there's, I would say, five to six tent site. It's pretty wet, so I struggle to find the best one. There's also a privy, so it's pretty good. And tomorrow I, I'm gonna wake up and hike Bassin and Saddleback, which is on that trail. <laughs> good morning. So I woke up, pack up, and ate in silence because there was two girls next to me with their big guard dog. So I felt pretty protected during the night. It drizzled a bit, but didn't rain much and was a pretty good night actually. I overslept, it's already eight o'clock and I have a long hike. So let's go. Next step, Bassin. Well, that looks fun. The ladder is very high and inclined, so it could be an issue for dogs, just saying. So this is the first big point of view that you get going to Basin. 
You can see a little A-stack, A-stack, Marcy, you can see so many mountains here. We'll have a very good view on top of these mountains today. So for this trip I went stoveless. Last wait, it was super warm outside and I didn't care to heat some meals. So I brought some tortillas and in the morning I don't, I don't really care to cook. So tortillas at night for supper with peanut butter was fine. In the morning I eat uh, Big Daddy cookies. They're over 400 calories, so they boost me up enough. And I don't care about cold coffee. I actually love it. I just mix it in my bottle like this. I take the sweet ones. Like cold coffee, I like it sweet. Regular, I, I like it normal, but yeah. On top of Basin, you can see a stack over there, a little a stack behind the skylight, and you have Marcy and so many other mountains. Now we're heading towards Saddleback and it's right there in front of us and apparently there's the Saddleback Cliffs which are pretty steep. I'm lucky I have to climb them, apparently to go down is worse. The way down Bassin towards Saddleback is no joke. I had to slide on my butt a couple times. It's very steep and it's only rock and it's flat rock. So if it's raining, that's gonna be hard. You can grab roots, but wow, that was a long way down. There's lots of mud. I'll be honest, I'm worried about the cliffs. Uh, I have to go through them. There's no other way unless I go all the way back but it's still gonna be hard there's some sketchy part I just went down some steep sections I know I'll have to climb them not go down apparently it's better I have a heavy pack and eh, I don't know I'm not a super climber if you're good at climbing and you're used to it and you like rock climbing and stuff like that that might be easy for you me eh. indoor <laughs> with a rope <laughs> But like that, I'm not that good. So I'm at the cliffs. So you have to rock climb all of this all the way up to Saddleback. Now you have to go up this side, follow the markers, try not to die all the way up. This is insane. This is the hardest trail I've ever done. Worse than Katahdin. Almost at the top. I'm not afraid of heights, but this one is scary. If you're afraid of heights, do not attempt this trail. I repeat, go up or down. Down must be horrible. And up, it is something. Whew. I'm not a big fan of this one. Overall, the trail is amazing. This section, I would put ladder or ropes or things to grab on. on top of Saddleback. I 
think overall this hike has been one of my favorites so far because there's so many things to do, so many things to see. It's technical and it's easy at some points too. You have so much views. It's beautiful. Every summit has amazing views. And also it's the first one that I was actually scared to do. And I conquered my fear and I did it. And I'm proud of myself for that. That's pretty cool. This is another point of view that you get from Saddleback. It's a bit after the summit. If you like videos like this that I almost kill myself climbing a cliff and you want to help me out supporting my channel while I try these kinds of hikes, you can subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future video. Also, pressing the like button will really help me out. Thank you. And you don't see it all, it keeps going after the trees. This is insane. I'm so happy that I'm going down. Well, without stairs, you couldn't do it. Wow, best view from stairs. If you hiked this trail before and you went up the Saddleback Cliffs, let me know in the comment, how did it went? <laughs> Better than me? <laughs> Were you afraid? Ah, uh, maybe it's just me, but. Also, if you went during winter, I really wanna know, how the hell did you do that? So I hope you enjoyed that video. See you soon.